Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And on the last video, guys, I show you how to install Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. So it's time to create a baseline. Uh, so I'm going to start it up. I added a shortcut in my taskbar. Let's start this bad boy up. Okay, so once Microsoft Security Compliance Manager is up and running, as you can see, these are the default Microsoft baselines that they give you. Uh, I'm going to play around with Windows 7. And let's, I don't know, let's, I'm going to do the Domain Security Compliance. Okay. And as you can see, you got nine unique settings. And if you click on one, you're not able to do anything to it until you duplicate the baseline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the baseline and duplicate it. And I'm going to give it uh, a name. Let's give it a name. I'm just going to keep it as the original name. And next to it, I'm going to say uh, BJ Tech News. All right. And I'm going to hit save. So once you hit save, what's going to happen at the very top right here, this is when you're going to have your custom baselines and the one that you just created. As you can see, that's the one that we just created. Now, let's say I want to manipulate uh, the minimum password age. Okay. Sincerity is critical. Uh, let's say customize setting, let's say in 90 days, right? 90 days so I want my users to change their stuff in every 90 days right so we change that let's say the maximum length is let's give it a little bit uh, let's give uh, let's change this to a characters account lockdown duration let's give it a little bit more let's give it 30 minutes reset account lockout counter for let's say five minutes again I'm just playing around with the settings just picking stuff randomly uh, enforce password this is if you really want to do this but again it's very self-explanatory again you don't really need to use this one again the Microsoft baselines they have so many of them so this is where you go in pick what you want manipulate it and you're good to go but the first thing that you need to do is once you pick your Microsoft baseline duplicate it give it a name and then start playing around with all the settings once you do that now I'm gonna be using MDT to be deploying these local GPOs okay so once you have your settings configured you want to go into this section right here to export and go to GPO backup folder okay you click on that and you give it a location I'm gonna put it on the desktop and let's say uh, BJ GPO and there it goes now these this is the folder with all the information that you need to push out into MDT alright so that's what you guys need to do so this is pretty awesome awesome as you can see these are all the settings that we did within uh, SCM and then on the next video I'm going to show you guys how to import it into MDT 2012 and push it out as a task sequence that's pretty cool so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to create a baseline if you have any questions or concerns just leave them at the comment section please give me likes and I catch you guys on the next video peace out